The success of the Lely astronaut milking robot is based on the principle of free cow traffic. This means that the cow is free to eat, drink or rest, and to let herself be milked. The robot is designed so that there is no hindrance to cows entering it. Once being milked, they are fully in contact with the other cows. The cow will continue to visit the robot on her own initiative, meaning that the milking process runs stress-free, thereby guaranteeing the best results. As soon as the cow enters the robot, she is recognized from the sensor on her collar. Information on the cow is passed to the Lely T4C management system. Milking is prepared on the basis of the cow's historical data. As a result, the robot knows the exact position of the teats and the ration to be fed. Up to five different types of feed can be fed in the Lely astronaut, including a liquid feed. The rationing is determined by the milk production and the cow's lactation phase. This is also connected to external feeding systems, such as the Lely Cosmics Concentrate Station and the Lely Vector Automatic Feeding System. For optimum hygiene and stimulation, brushes are used for cleaning and disinfecting. By using brushes, the teats are cleaned more thoroughly than just rinsing. Equally, with the brushes, the underneath of the udder can be cleaned. No vacuum system is used, meaning that no milk is lost during cleaning. Above all, the chance of cross-contamination is reduced to a minimum. The teat cups remain clean because they only come into contact with clean teats. Brush cleaning also stimulates the nerves in the teats. The stimulation goes through the spinal cord to the pituitary gland in the cow's brain. The slowest quarter is connected first. The chance of a teat cup being trodden on and popped off is minimal thanks to the lightweight teat cups and short tubes. Should this happen, the teat cup never falls to the ground, it is simply reconnected. The airflow is continuously monitored. If a teat cup pops off, it is immediately disconnected to prevent it from suctioning any dirt. Because the tubes are incorporated into the robot arm, the cow cannot step on them, reducing the risk of the milking process being disturbed. After each cleaning, the brushes are disinfected to prevent cross-contamination. The position of the cow is carefully monitored during the entire milking process without disturbing the cow. As a result, the teat cup is always straight under the teat, minimizing the chance of liner slip. Pre-milking will be done by the cup that will also milk the quarter. This eliminates the chance of cross-contamination. In each quarter, there is a small amount of milk of lower quality. During pre-milking, the lower quality milk is extracted from the teat. The pre-milk is separated based on volume instead of based on time. This means that only 9 milliliter of milk per quarter is disposed of and not a single drop of quality milk is wasted. The milking occurs through two separate vacuum circuits. The movement of milk from the teat cup happens through the pulsation vacuum. The milk vacuum transports the milk to the milk glass. For healthy others, it is important that the vacuum pressure under the teat point remains stable. This is why the astronaut comes replete with a vacuum buffer. This ensures that the pulsation vacuum does not interfere with the milk vacuum. This guarantees a constant flow of milk. The speed with which the other releases the milk can differ per quarter. This is why the astronaut measures the milk flow separately per quarter from the robot arm right next to the udder. The pulsations are adjusted per quarter based on the milk flow. During milking, the MQC monitors the milk continuously, safeguarding the quality of the milk. In order to be able to spot any health issues at an early stage, some parameters immediately trigger a warning in the T4C management program and the mobile T4C in herd. If the milk flow from a quarter drops below a certain threshold, the teat cup is removed by turning off the vacuum and pulling the cord. The teat cups can never fall on the ground. After taking off the teat cups, the teats are sprayed with an udder care product. 
To do this as efficiently as possible, the udder is scanned again because it changes shape after milking. When the milk is being pumped away to the milk tank, samples are taken to identify the somatic cell count with the optional MQCC. When the feeding box is swiveled away, the cow can comfortably leave the robot. Before the next cow is milked, the teat cups are thoroughly cleaned. The Laili Pura steam cleaning system is an optional extra. Laili Astronaut – The Natural Way to Milk 